All right, guys, it's game time. All right, for game time today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to do the viewfinder challenge. Here's what the viewfinder challenge is. Every one of you is going to be given a viewfinder. Viewfinder. All right, so what you guys are going to do with the viewfinder is you guys are going to do a project that's going to be based off of some George O'Keefe. Or who's George O'Keefe? George O'Keefe was this lady who lived back in about the 1900s, and what she did is she painted a whole bunch of flowers. What kind of flowers? These kinds of flowers. All right, so if you look on the screen here, let's zoom in on just a couple of them. Uh, what she would do is she would pick a close-up view or an arrangement of a flower and just show the zoomed-in version of it. For this picture, she did a zoomed-in version from a town, and and you just have the steeple off the top. So what your activity is going to be is, you're going to take your viewfinder, and you're going to place it over something or somebody, and uh, you're just going to do something, you're going to do just what is inside the viewfinder. What are you going to do? You're going to do a little quick sketch on a piece of white paper. Afterwards, you're going to take that white paper, and what you're going to do is you're going to come in back inside, and we're going to, we're going to do some painting. So we're going to do some watercolor paint, going to go over a couple tips on some watercolor and how to do watercolor. All right, so some other tips that go over with the viewfinder challenge is this. What you're going to do is you're going to find that interesting close-up arrangement of an object or something or picture or something. And what you're going to do is you're going to put that viewfinder over it. Now, behind me, I got some interesting pictures here. Uh, this was some that another class did. What we did is we did a picture of SpongeBob, threw it up on the board, and they just drew that one close-up section of SpongeBob. So you have the eye, the little bit of the nose, and some of the mouth. Now, one thing I do want to go over with is this. On these three pieces, I see uh, great definition in all three. However, the one in the middle right here is most noted that you can tell that that's Spongebob, but I really enjoy the one over here. It reminds us of one of the artists that we checked out earlier in the year. Uh, any idea who artist I'm trying to think of? Hopefully somebody said Cause, K-A-W-S, because it looks very similar to his style of work. If you when you draw something, don't think that you have to paint it in just the normal colors that you would see, but some of the interesting colors that aren't there. Uh, one of the things I like about this painting over here is that they did the black circles around the porous sections of the sponge. I think that's really cool. However, I got to be honest with you, and having these little neat, these nice green bits on this one really brings out a little more element to it, and I like that a lot. Uh, I think. Of turning Spongebob into a zombie or doing something interesting kitschy like that. I'll try and also put up some additional pictures up on the screen but use this to your advantage and create a very cool piece of artwork. Later. All right, so today we're going to be talking about Miss Georgia O'Keeffe. Now, Georgia O'Keeffe was a painter back in the early 1900s, uh, painted in several different locations. Now, for our early years, 1915, 1920-ish, uh, she met her husband, uh, Mr. Alfred Sieglitz, who is a famous photographer, and the two of them had a joint venture in the art world. He, as a photographer and her as a painter, she painted mainly close-ups of images, specifically flowers, like some of these flowers. All right, so today what you guys are going to do is I'm going to put up a few of these flower images for you guys to draw and illustrate, and you guys are going to be mini uh, Giorgio O'Keefe. So what you're going to do is on your paper, on your white paper, you're going to do a couple quick sketches of some flowers. Make sure they're nice and big. Notice how as we look at some of these pictures, the it's not one flower, middle of a paper. No, you see the whole flower and it goes off the page. So as you're drawing, creating your images, make sure that you're taking the image all the way off the page and you're showing large uh, sections of where you're going to add color and add design. Now, the big thing about George O'Keefe is she did close-ups of objects. It wasn't always flowers. Sometimes, again, uh, close-up church steeple, so you just have the top of the bell tower there to uh, the yak heads when she was in New Mexico and she uh, saw the dead animals on the side of the road and she would paint the skulls. Uh, when she did these, she also did a close-up version of these and interactive flowers and elements within the desert landscape into these skulls. So for you, close-ups of flowers, couple on the page, make sure they go off the page. I want to see a lot of detail, a lot of design, and then we're going to finish these up with paint.